guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be talking about converting decimals into percentages yes how excited is that i hope you're really excited because i am also we're going to be doing a few questions where it's going to start off a little bit easy and and then we're going to do it a little bit of intermediate levels and I am so positive that you're going to get it on the first time. So just follow along and let's get started into the video. So the first question here is 0.93 times 100. We're going to look at this very closely and it's a simple question, but we're going to convert it so it can be into percentages. Remember that. Okay. And we're going to look at 0.93 what place is the nine in okay you're correct it's in the 10th place what place is in the three in you're correct again the hundredth place so we're going to times it by 100 we're going to get 9300 or you can say 9300 we're going to move that decimal place two places to the right and it comes out to 93 percent this is your answer to the first question. How simple was that? Okay, we're gonna get to the second question now. Look at the decimal number, which is on 0 0.1958. I'm going to show you how to do it. And remember, percent means per hundred. So we're gonna move the decimal places, four places to the right, one, two, three, four. You see, that wasn't so bad at all. You see how easy it's getting? But now we're gonna set it up in an equation. So that's where it gets just a little bit tricky, which I mentioned it's gonna be just a little bit of intermediate levels, but it's still simple. And we're basically going to set it up in an equation. So where X is the 0 0.1958 as a percentage equals to x over 100 and 0 0.1958 will be over one okay like the shortcut that i taught you is very easy to remember it's basically like the first question it's moving in decimal place few places to the right and after you times it by the hundred, and that's the second way to doing that problem. Hopefully you can let me know which method you prefer to do. On to the third question now. And the third question is 0 .007. What place is the first zeros in? The 10th place, you're correct. Okay, what place the second zeros in? The hundredths place. You're right again. What place is the seven is in? The thousandths place. Okay, since we know which number is in the places, we're gonna times that 100, which is equal to 0 0.700. Or you can just say 0 0.7. Then you move the decimal place two places to the right, to make it 0 0.7 and the answer comes out to be 0.7 percent okay i'm going to give you the same exact question but a little bit different okay 0 0.07 will be in what percentage form tick tock tick tock okay the answer will be 70 percent instead of seven percent do you know why it's 70 percent because we have one zero versus two zeros so we have one zero which is in the tenth places versus two zero which is one is in the tenth one is in the hundred we have one zero point seven versus point zero zero seven do you see how important where you where the numbers are placed, it's very important. 
and that can make a big difference in any question. Okay, next question. 0 0.41, what place is the four is in? You're right, 10th place. What place the one is in? 100th place, correct. Okay, so now we're going to times that by 100 and we get 41%. So that's it for today's video. And I hope you guys understood the whole concept of converting decimals into percentages. And if you didn't quite yet, that's fine too. I just hope I helped in some way and every bit counts. And remember, math is just not a, a number. You use it in your everyday life. Critical thinking, problem solving, effective communication, reasoning. Math is very important. And it's just not a number only. Well, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Definitely comment if I should do more questions like this. And it's a wrap. Thank